Okay, good morning boys and girls at home. It's time for our next phonics lesson. So as always, we're gonna go through our sounds together first, okay? Mohammed Said, I'm gonna ask you to move next to Aisha, please, to make sure you can see. Okay, everybody. high-frequency words that we need to practice. High-frequency words are words that we see a lot when we're reading. They might be written a lot in stories, in books, in sentences that we're reading and writing. So we need to be able to know what they say. So let's have a look, everybody. Well done. Good. Oh, I'm going to put that one to the back and we'll have another look at that one. Yep. do not but instead of writing do not they have contracted the word and put in an apostrophe so it says don't that's better we didn't get that one the first one did we out okay now these e sounds who can remember before i show you them again which letters do we have that make these E sounds, the different E sounds? Adrian? 
We, well done, Adrian. We have an F and an F. We also have Abdullah. Well done. F and an F. And we also have Yasin. F and a yeah, good remembering everybody. I saw lots of lots of hands up in the classroom then to give me your answers. So well done. I'm very pleased you remember that. Let's not shout out. So now I want you to think of some words that have these E sounds in that you can tell me and we'll write some of them down. Boys and girls at home, can you be writing some on your whiteboards as well? Um, Aisha, can you think of a word for me? Oh, so give me the word that you want me to write down. C, so which E sound is that using, Aisha? Well done, can you spell it for me? E, well done. E, C, well done, Dylan. Cheeky a monkey. Oh, so cheeky, which E sound is that? Cheeky. Let me try spell it with an E. Let me try spell it with that then. Let's have a look. Oh, now let's see if you think that looks right. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, Yasin, what, which E sound do you think Cheeky should have? E uh, and the uh, let's just try it. E, E. What do you think, Dylan, which one? what can you see yeah well done Dylan so remember that tip if you if you're ever not sure try writing it both ways and that will help you to see hopefully which is the right way to spell it monkey though do you want to spell monkey for me Dylan mm -hmm. yeah 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 well done so we've got that e sound at the end of monkey haven't we Miriam have you got a word you can give me T, yeah, can you spell it for me? Yep. Yeah. Which E sound is it? Well done. M and T. Well done. We've got one in, at least one in each of our columns. Danielle, can you think of one? Say it a bit louder for me. Can't hear you. Ban banana. Can you hear an E sound in that word? No, but well done for having a go. Serena, have you got one? Radiator. Ooh, radiator. You can hear an E sound in radiator, can't you? But it's not one of these ones, Serena. But well done for trying to think of a tricky word to spell. Yasin, have you got one? Ready. Ready, yes. Can you spell it for me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not just after. It's one of these E sounds. That's it. Now, that has this spelling, doesn't it? But does it make an E sound? No. No, it makes an F sound there, doesn't it? So that's a bit of a tricky one. I'm just going to put a little star there because it's got the same spelling, but it's got a difference. It makes a different sound, doesn't it? Go on, Serena. Have you got another one for me? Teeth, can you, which E sound is that, Serena? Well done, can you spell it for me? Well done, let's see if we can get one more. Can anybody think of another one for this E sound? Because we've only got one at the moment. Fatima, can you think of a word? B. Mm. B does have an E sound, but that's this one, isn't it? B. Can you see if I spelt it with this E sound? doesn't look quite right does it have we got one for this one serena oh certain types yeah er, oh, oh. E. we could have k couldn't we okay i'm going to rub these out now and I'm going to get you boys and girls at home and you guys in the classroom to spell me some of these words. Remember, if you aren't quite sure which E sound you need, remember that tip. Try spelling it both ways and seeing. Now, another tip I'm going to give you. 
this E sound and this E sound could be in the middle of words, they could be sometimes at the, this one could sometimes be at the end of words, but this E sound is usually found, it might not always be the case, but quite often we would see that at the end of a word, wouldn't we? Okay, so if you have an E sound at the end of a word, it might be that one, but try the other ways as well, just in case. Okay, the first word I would like you to spell, please, is, we'll start with an easy one, key. Key. Fantastic, Dylan, well done, Yassine. Oh, just think about which cup you need. Okay, three, two, one. Fatima, can you tell me how to spell key, please? Yeah. Which one? A. Well done, give yourself a pat on the back or a tick if you've got that one right. Good job. Next word I would like you to spell, please, is green. 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 Yep. Yeah. Well done, well done, fantastic. Green. Green. Okay, three, two, one. I'm going to ask Mohammed Saeed, can you spell that for me? Can you tell me how to spell that word? Yeah. 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 Amazing, Mohammed Saeed. Good job. Well done. Okay, the next word is going to be bean. Bean. But not as if I have been to the shop, bean as in a baked bean. Baked bean. Different bean. Bean. Not I have been to the shop, bean as in a baked bean. I'm tricking a few children in the classroom. I wonder if I'm tricking you at home. Oh, well done, Danielle. Well done, Miriam. Different bean. Okay, three, two, one. Danielle, can you tell me how to spell bean, please? Fantastic. Some of you were also writing this bean, and I'll let you have that as well. I did say like a baked bean, but... I'll let you have this one as well. Okay. The next word I would like you to spell, please, is donkey. Donkey. Oh, just think about which k you've used. Fantastic. Well done. Donkey. Now this word has two syllables. It might help if you break it down. Don key. Good try, Miriam. Have another thing. It is, isn't it? Right. Three, two, one. I'm gonna ask Dylan. Can you spell donkey for me? D. Well done. So I was talking about breaking it down into these two syllables to help you because lots of children were forgetting their n sound. Don key. Okay. The next word I would like you to spell, please, is going to be teeth. Teeth. Well done. Fantastic. How are you getting on at home, boys and girls? Are you doing a super job? Abdullah, just think about that last sound. T. Well done, Mohammed Saeed. Well done, Yasin. Well done. Three, two, one. Let's ask Mohammed Ahmed, can you spell that word T for me? Yeah. 
Fantastic. F, F to make the E sound. T. Okay. Your last word to spell before we go on to our sentence is clean. 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 Well done. Well done. Think carefully about the E sound, Mohammed Ahmed. Clean. Clean. Oh, I think I have a try with a different E sound, Miriam. Well done. Okay, three, two, one. Well done. I'm going to ask Aisha, can you spell the word clean for me, please? Well done, Aisha. Okay, can you boys and girls at home rub out your boards? Rub out your boards in the classroom. I'm going to start writing our sentence. check again because there should be nine words in your sentence. Who can spot this E word in my sentence? Fatima? Nope, that's not that E word. Um, Aisha? Green, thank you. So I've got that E sound there. Who can spot whoops, this E sound in my words? Yasin? Okay, well done. And who can spot this E sound in my words? Mohammed Saeed? Which word has that E sound? Don't shout out. Should we ask for some help, Mohammed Saeed? I'm going to ask somebody who wasn't shouting out. I'm going to ask Dylan. Which word has this E sound in? Thank you. Okay, so we've got all three of our E sounds in there. So when you're writing your sentence, you need to make sure that you're putting the right E sound with the right word. Okay, let's have a practice saying our sentence. We're going to say it normally together again first. Ready? I had a dream about a magic green key. About, we've got one of our high frequency words in there as well that we've just looked at, so we need to be remembering how to spell that as well. Let's say it in slow motion. I had a dream about a magic green key. <laughs> Full stop. Let's say it in fast tempo. Ready? One more time. Oh, I think Dylan might have won that one. He'd finished before I even looked at him. What other way should we say our sentence? Let's say it with our teeth closed. Ready? I had a dream about a magic green. 
because it's about something magical, let's be wizards or witches and have our wands ready. I had a dream about a magic green key. Let's see who else wants to give me an idea for how we can say it. Adrienne? A slug. A slug. <laughs> so we need to try and make ourselves all slimy. I had a dream about a magic green key. <laughs> Yes, Eve? Ah, I had a dream about a magic green key. Ah. Miriam? Mm, like a toy robot, maybe? Oh, like a ghost. I had a dream about a magic green key. Okay, right. We're going to start rubbing it out now, so let's say it together. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. Make sure we say it all together. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. I had a dream about a magic green key. Okay, off you go, write it down. Off you go, boys and girls at home. If you can think of any other sentences as well to send to me, that would be fantastic. See you later.